So if you didn't like my uh, last proof that 1 equals 2, take a look at this proof. So let's take a look at uh, this uh, equation here. We have n squared equals n plus n plus n plus n, n times. So why does that work? Well, just take a look here at the pattern. So 1 squared is equal to 1, right? 2 squared is 2 plus 2, which is 4. 3 squared is 3 plus 3 plus 3. 4 squared is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So you can see that the way the pattern works is that when you have n squared, it's n plus n plus n plus n, and you do that for a total of n times. And that's the equation we're going to work with. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually take the derivative of both sides using calculus. So the derivative of n squared is just 2n. Now the derivative of n is just 1, right? So we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so forth. But keep in mind that there's a total of n of these, right? Because we're doing this n times. So now we have that 2n is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times, which is just going to be n. So now we have 2n equals n. And if you divide both sides by n, you get that 2 equals 1. And that proves that 2 equals 1 using calculus. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of that. Remember, folks, with math, the possibilities are limitless.